Many people were left scratching their heads following Robin and Cody Brown's argument about money with Christine, Janelle, and Mary in the most recent episode. Specifically, Janelle mentioned that she was worried about gaining access to the equity, that is, the money, that she had given to Cody and Robin for their down payment on a house, in addition to the money from Coyo Pass. During this episode, Robin Brown said something that truly made my mind click. They had always worked together up until recently, when Christine and Janelle had requested to not receive financial support from the family. I knew what she meant when she said that, but she wasn't referring to the land when Robin Brown made her statement. She is discussing the earnings from the show. Hey guys, is Amelia here? Welcome to TLC Flicks. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. In Utah in 2010, Cody Brown, his wife, and his harem established Cody Brown Family Entertainment LC. The business later relocated to Nevada and for more than 10 years Arizona. The show's revenue came from the corporation, therefore Puddle Monkey Productions or Figure 8 Films, whomever received the TLC money, would be responsible for paying the family this particular LLC. Thus, when they discuss the family's finances, in actuality, they are referring to the show's proceeds for the family. No one was paid for each episode of the show. They gave the family a one-time payment. They precisely carried out this action with the Duggar family. The production firm and TLC used Jim Bob Duggar's company, Mad Family Entertainment, to pay them for their episodic fees, as you would know if you read Jill Duggar's book. Therefore, until 2022, Cody Brown's family and his spouses received payments into an LLC known as Cody Brown Family Entertainment. According to Robin, Janelle and Christine had requested to be kept apart from the family. I'll explain why this isn't strictly accurate in terms of finances. She was the one who accidentally revealed it to herself. She made a few more mistakes that she regrets. I made a video in 2022 while we were investigating this since Cody and Robin established Abzark Entertainment LLC in Arizona. There were no other sister wives at the time and the business appeared to be the type of LLC that would be utilized to allow TLC to make payments to that company. Only Cody and Robin were present. It was intriguing because of its initials, D.A.V. Sark. The initials for Cody and Robin's children, Dayton, Aurora, Griana, Ariella, Solomon, and Cody, are Dab Sark. Sark Dab. Before Cody Brown Family Entertainment was ever disbanded, entertainment was founded in May 2022. It was created before either Mary or Janelle had created their own LLCs, and before Janelle had even officially separated from Cody, with the intention of ensuring that Cody and Robin would receive all proceeds from the show. Cody and Robin were trying to keep money hidden from Janelle and Mary. The public was unaware of Janelle's separation from him and Mary's departure at that time. By the fall of 2022, when Logan married Michelle, a topic they will discuss in this upcoming episode, we were aware that Christine had left, and we had some indications that something was going on based on pictures and posts that Janelle and Mary were making on social media. They will thus discuss a family gathering at which everyone will be present. Logan's wedding took place, although it wasn't recorded. Many assumed that Janelle and Cody had broken up at that moment, as everyone saw that Cody had not sat with Janelle at the ceremony. Rather of sitting alone, Janelle took a seat beside Christine and Mary, while Cody and Robin took a seat across the aisle. While there were a lot of questions for fans at the time, for many of us it was the first hint that Janelle and Cody were finished filming at that time. Janelle did not run her own production company, instead, she was employed by Cody and Robin's company, Dabzark. To be honest, I'm not sure when Janelle or Mary learn about this, but it will probably be by November 2022. Between November and December, Janelle establishes three businesses, including Janelle Plexus. She then begins to market Plexus. After moving to Arizona, she pursues her career with Janelle and launches Janelle Brown Productions. Thus, she didn't start her business until December. 29 in 2022. A whole year and a half after Cody and Robin established Dabzark Entertainment. Thus, in addition to protecting their cash and possibly attempting to have the show's proceeds go to them, Cody and Robin were attempting to get ahead of the divorce. All the women eventually established their own production enterprises. Nor were Cody and Robin paid in one big payment. Rather, they were paid separately. Therefore, Janelle receives payment via her production firm, and Christine receives payment via her production company. Cody and Robin receive payment through their own production companies, while Mary receives payment through her own. Thus, during the entire filming, Cody was fully aware that these women would be leaving their financial lives and would no longer have access to the pot of money through the Cody Brown Family Entertainment Company. This was evident in the arguments they were having about money and spending. In the end, Robin Brown practically revealed her true colors when she said, 
Janelle and Christine, asked to not be a part of the financial part of our family, which is a really strange way of explaining that they broke up. Correct? Wouldn't you just explain that we had all been working together until Christine and Janelle left the family if you were going to claim that you broke with them? But Robin didn't say that. She claimed that up until Christine and Janelle requested not to be involved in the family finances, we were all working together. However, Janelle hadn't requested that as of yet, as Cody wasn't returning her calls, and they hadn't had that chat. So, it's very possible that Janelle wasn't getting paid for the show at the time that everything was taped, and that Cody and Robin were. Janelle still needs to figure out how much money she needs for the show and make sure the production company knows that she gets paid, which is why I believe part of the reason she is being cautious about her relationship with Cody and her conversations with Christine. Furthermore, it's possible that she was trying to conceal money from Cody and Robin when they founded that corporation, something she was unaware of at the time. She appears to have known that they were trying to conceal my money. Moreover, purchasing all of these goods appeared to be an attempt to conceal wealth, but in reality, I believe they were attempting to eject them and keep them from the show's earnings. The main issue that arose during their joint account with Cody Brown Family Entertainment was that the money was paid to an LLC rather than a family account, and I seriously doubt that any of the women had individual bank accounts. That seems like it would not have been doable at all. Given that Cody was the company's principal employee and its patriarch, it stands to reason that he and Robin had access to the bank account, and they were free to spend the funds any way they saw fit. Because under polygamy, all the money belongs to the male, no matter what's written on paper, they were not only getting money from the show but also having family members give them money from their equity. Legally speaking, Cody and Robin are starting to realize that Janelle's money, Christine's money, and Mary's money are leaving the house at this point in the filming. Then, seven months later, both Mary and Janelle negotiate deals with production, and they are paid independently. They are frantically trying to figure out how to keep the money they formed at Absarch. So by the end of December, by the end of 2022, the pot of money that had formerly been a full payout for the entire family had now been. Divide into four equal parts. By the end of 2022, Cody was no longer able to access all of the money from the sister wives contract, and he was not allowed to decide how the money was allocated to each of the cast members' principals. Because of the intense interest that the public had in Christine's breakup with Cody, by December 2022 she had established herself as the show's largest draw and favorite among viewers. When Robin mentions the financial divide, she is referring to the show money at this time. She then asks how Janelle could possibly know how much we owe her. How, after all, would you even know, since we have always collaborated? My hypothesis is that she is expressing these thoughts because she is aware that they have spent all of their money and do not have any more. Then, in a hilarious turn of events, Robin projects herself as the one who has always prioritized her finances and been frugal with them. This implies that Janelle was the one who did not prioritize her finances, which is absurd given that, as viewers of the show, you would know, Janelle is by far the most realistic with money and has led the most modest and simple life. She knew exactly how much she had to spend. She had no desire to live beyond her means. She gave off the impression that she knew the program would not go forever and that she needed to stop spending more money than she was making. On the other hand, they began accumulating everything as soon as Cody and Robin moved into their home in 2019 and the family began to come apart. Although Christy Robin's Vegas home had always had some fine pieces, it wasn't until they began to stock it with pricey statues, artwork, amethyst geodes, and various trinkets and collections that it truly began to take on character. She'd started a few of them, but it really got intense. Additionally, if you examine the pictures from their property advertisement, you can see that throughout the four or five years that they had the house, it filled up with a lot of junk. The paintings on the walls only started to pile up more and more. Cody was investing the money in art, keeping it hidden so he wouldn't have any left over to pay others, and using it for his own possessions only. Subsequently, Robin contradicts herself by stating that at the time of the house purchase, it was always meant to be a cherished heirloom. It was never meant to be her alone. Given that Janelle was providing a sizable portion of Cody and Robin's down payment, she claims to have requested them to sign the mortgage. However, Cody declined, citing Robin's desire for her own estate. The irony here is that Robin doesn't dispute that Janelle's or the family's funds were utilized. She agrees that they should utilize Janelle's funds in its place. Attempting to turn it around, she says, well, it was meant to be for the family. She was attempting to divert attention away from Janelle's claim that the money was for Robin's estate by insisting that it was, in fact, for the family. I'm attempting to escape this situation by claiming that I don't truly own this house. The family is meant to live there. 
It's crazy since it's not really mine. I'm not sure if any of you have any experience with real estate, but once you sign a mortgage and begin making payments, you become the owner of the property. You are the only one who owns the residence. Subsequently, in the event that you fail to make payments to your mortgage company, you will be required to do so. Should you go behind, the mortgage company may initiate the foreclosure process. Then, despite Robin's best efforts to appear cunning, she flatly acknowledges that Janelle gave her the money. She also acknowledges that the house was never intended to be part of her estate and claims that it is a family asset. If Robin were to actually go to court, that would be a public admission regarding the house. That is a declaration made in public regarding the purpose of the funds used. Given that Janelle has acknowledged in public that the funds were spent, she is entitled to that money. When it comes to money, she is not a particularly intelligent woman. Tell you what, though, reality stars have been known to make remarks regarding money on their shows, and those remarks have come back to haunt them in both civil and criminal legal proceedings. Not everything that appears on reality television can be considered admissible. For example, several housewives who openly discussed money on the show have since had those same statements appear in lawsuits and criminal indictments. This is also the case with other well-known families on the show, whose identities remain anonymous. She is not, however, claiming that Janelle did not give them money when they are in agreement on this. Cody acknowledges that Janelle handed them the cash. The fact that the house was intended to be a family asset is acknowledged. Thus, in a technical sense, they are acknowledging that they owed Janelle money. Robin is such an idiot. She genuinely believed she was being astute when she stated that this wasn't for my She was attempting to refute Janelle's claim that Cody had stated that this was Robin's estate. To protect herself, she had claimed that it was, but she later clarified that it was actually for the family, demonstrating that the mansion was purchased with family funds. It's like, oh my gosh, I don't know if Janelle has really engaged a lawyer yet, but she ought to, and she need to do so before this house sells, in order to retrieve the funds she contributed for the down payment. The problem is that, absent a formal agreement or other legal document specifying that she is entitled to the equity in addition to her initial investment in the home, Janelle will not be entitled to any of the investment equity that she would have made with the money that she contributed, although it is unlikely that she would receive it. Robin's statement provides absolute proof that they knew this property was using her money. Cody has always been quite secretive about the family's finances, and he remained silent about it during this episode. And I believe he did that on purpose because he doesn't want to talk about money in public. Cody may not be particularly intelligent, but he is shrewd when it comes to Connie and money, and he probably knows that if he acknowledges any remarks about debt or money, they could come back to haunt him. He therefore declared, I'm not telling anyone what we're going to do with Coyote Pass in this episode. That was it. It will be paid when it is paid. In any case, he was unwilling to make any pronouncements. He did not want to get associated with Janel's debt. It was not something he wanted to be associated with that he owed her money on Coyo Pass. He had no desire to commit himself to any responsibility or disclosures. However, Robin took advantage of them and it's stunning. Therefore, Janelle, if you or anyone else you know is watching, please let her know that Robin has given her a present. At this point, Robin's egotism and her need to always play the victim, appearing like the naive, modest, devoted person who wouldn't screw anyone over, came back to haunt her. Thus, Christine is suing Robin and Cody, but Janelle hasn't yet filed a lawsuit against them. You know, it's not unusual for women who leave polygamy to simply walk away from their possessions without filing a lawsuit. Janelle wouldn't likely give that up in my opinion. Therefore, I believe that this protracted legal battle between them and their dispute over money, which may have been sparked by comments made by Robin that Janelle was unaware of, may now reach a boiling point. If you are looking for more sister wives gossip, come back to TLC Flicks for all your updates. Bye guys.